All right, so uh, first up, um, a, a quick update on, uh, on what's happening on the ground in Israel, and then we'll, we'll go into some details on a few of the different aspects of, of, uh, of the war. Uh, Israel, as, you, as we talked about yesterday, is basically surrounded Gaza City, which is uh, where most of the Palestinians in the north, northern Gaza uh, Strip live. Uh, they, they, are, they have come in from the north, they've come in from the south, they've split, basically uh, disconnected the north part of Gaza from the south part of Gaza. Um, and they are slowly starting to enter uh, Gaza City and uh, in the, the various uh, towns and camps uh, surrounding Gaza City. Uh, the goal is to go in and dismantle and destroy the uh, tunnel infrastructure that Hamas has built there, kill as many Hamas members as possible, and uh, destroy any ammunition they have, uh, and hopefully find some hostages and free them, uh, if that is at all possible. My understanding is that they are going to try to avoid going into the tunnels themselves. Uh, you know, going into tunnels it could be suicidal. My guess is they might send special forces in there to try to get intelligence and, uh, and to try to release hostages. But generally, I think the goal is going to be to either smoke the Hamas out, that is, fill the tunnels with smoke and force them out, or to basically uh, destroy the tunnels, to, to have them uh, uh, cause them to cave in, uh, to block the exits, uh, and uh, and uh, to create a situation where uh, people are, you know, the Hamas uh, are, are trapped inside, uh, die inside, or are forced out and therefore into the open and are killed outside. Uh, the challenge, of course, is that at least in Gaza City, in the south part of Gaza City, so close to the where, where the Israeli troops are already there, um, uh, there are two hospitals. And uh, the challenge is that the Hamas has built much of their infrastructure, their command posts, uh, underneath these hospitals. So a lot of the tunnels, are, uh, are the hubs, are under, uh, underneath these hospitals. Israel has constantly asked for these hospitals to be evacuated. Uh, the Palestinians refused. Uh, the hospitals are still functioning. Uh, and But Israel cannot destroy the tunnels underneath them and cannot destroy the facilities underneath them without destroying the hospitals above or without risking uh, munitions exploding underneath the hospital and imploding the whole hospital, and then Israel gets to blame. Uh, so Israel has a, a real quandary in terms of how what to do and how to do it. Um, and uh, for now, what it looks like they're doing is they're bombing everything around the hospital. They're basically destroying the buildings uh, surrounding the hospital, partially, I think, to uh, give them a warning, to tell them what's, hap what's going to happen to them unless they evacuate. Uh, so that's going on right now. You've got massive shelling of the territories around, of the uh, buildings and infrastructure around the two hospitals. Um, but you know, the, the, the flattening of those buildings will also potentially give Israel access to the tunnels uh, uh, f without actually going through the hospital. But it's still true that, you know, any one of those tunnels could implode and explode and take down the hospital with it. And, and that's the purpose. That's how Hamas fights. It, it fights, uh, you know, by jeopardizing and sacrificing its own people. Uh, it, by putting its own people in the line of fire, by creating a circumstance where for Israel to win, it must kill many civilians. That is the Hamas strategy. The Hamas strategy is not to win. Hamas strategy is to force the hand of the Americans and the Europeans to start reigning in Israel, to force Israel to have a you know, a ceasefire to force Israel to retreat. Hamas can't kick Israel out of Gaza. But America could put the squeeze on Israel and force them out of Gaza. And that's what Hamas is counting on. And for that, Hamas needs as many civilians and ho to die, as many hospitals to be blown up, uh, as many good 
you know, TikTok videos uh, to be available to show how the, how uh, horrible uh, life is in Gaza and how evil uh, Israel is actually.